Well guys, this is the Model L here that's got no oil pressure. So I figure what I'm going to do is try to take off the oil lines and see if they're clogged first of all. That'd probably be the easiest thing. And if they're not clogged, then I'm going to pull the oil pump and check that out. But uh, seeing if they're clogged shouldn't be a big deal. And just unhook them on each end and uh, put it back together and see what we got here. But uh, that's what I'm going to check out first. Alright guys, I took off the starter clutch. Now we got to pull off this pulley here, the electric start pulley. Oop, wrong size socket. Let's try this one. Now we can access the oil pump a little easier. The oil pump itself is right there. So the back of the oil pump here, there's a couple of bolts that hold it onto the block and in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off these bolts here. And I got the wrong size socket. I need a 716. So let me get that. And what we'll do is we'll take these out. And we'll see if Steve is right, and I have a broken key on my pump. Be right back. All right, we just got to take these six bolts out here. Let's see, there's two. I could have a clog in here also between the block and the pump that's preventing the oil from going through the crankcase into the pump. And if I remember right, there's a couple, there's like a slot back there where all these things should be coming out. And these are just like little cap screws here, just holding this cover on. Let's see. two on the bottom are longer and that last one is stuck in there a little bit so let me get my ratchet back out here again it's always got to be a stubborn one right let's see Alright, got that out. Now, I'll take this off. And what do we got in here? Let's see. We definitely have gears. And what I got to do here is try to turn the crankcase and, and watch, or the crankshaft, and see if those gears spin. They're spinning. So there's no issue with the uh, gears, they seem to be fine. So that ain't the problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pan under here in case we spew out some oil. And uh, I'm going to take this whole pump right off the uh, crankcase here and see if it's plugged up. Because this is some pretty nasty looking stuff coming through there. It looks like it's brown and rusty and crappy. So maybe what we'll do is we'll take the oil pump right off the machine and we'll clean it out a little bit and see if it's clogged up inside of it with some gunk. Now I got all the bolts out and I had to take the key out of the shaft here. Now I should be able to just work this pump right out and see what the heck is going on here. And looking in here, there's no clogs or anything like that. So that's good. Let's see what we got here. We got this gear. This gear is in there strong. So maybe these holes that feed the oil through are screwed up, but this gear here doesn't even have a key in it. It's just floating there. So I'm at a little bit of a loss here as to what's going on. I mean, everything appears to be legit like it should be. Maybe I'll take my uh, air gun on my compressor and blow into these lines and make sure that they're blowing all the way through back to the crankcase. But other than that, I mean, 
I guess I was wrong. I guess there is no slot that lets the oil in here from the crankcase. I could have sworn it came out the back here, but this gear is nice and tight on that shaft. There's no issues. This is just the bearing on the crankshaft. That has nothing to do with the oil pump. So there was a little bit of crap in here, but again, this crap up here is from the crank bearing. The pumping area is down here where my thumb is. So everything up here has no bearing on down there. But you can see right through those lines, right out to the other side. So there's nothing that's obstructing it, that's for sure. So maybe it's just a matter of uh, a clog somewhere else. So let me see if we can try to blow out the lines like I was saying and uh, I'll go from there. Well guys, I've taken the oil filter off and uh, blown air through there. You got no issues there. Nothing is clogged in any of these lines going around here, but everything is bone dry. So what I did is I just got a new uh, oil filter down at Napa, Napa Gold 1515. And uh, we'll thread that on there. I'm going to fill it with oil first and kind of prime the system a little bit. There is a bunch of junk that's uh, hanging out around the filter housing here. It's kind of just a rusty, crusty residue. So I'm going to just clean that off a little bit before I put a filter on there. And ultimately, nothing's clogged here, so it must be a priming issue. And, uh, you know, I, I really feel that this line here is open. I can blow air in there and uh, I can actually show you guys. It's kind of funny, but if I blow air in there, you can hear it gurgling into the crankcase. Listen. So I know that it's not clogged. So uh, I think that the next step here is to basically, <laughs> I almost want to put my mouth on it and suck the oil through but I don't want to get a mouthful of oil but that's basically what I'd like to do is try to pull the oil back through that line to prime it maybe I'll put a piece of gas line over or something and suck on it that way but I feel that that's what it needs is just a little bit of uh, sucking on there to get it going but uh, anyways I'm gonna pack this with grease and I'm gonna put it back together and uh, we'll see if we can get it primed and we'll fire it up and see what happens this time. I got a brand new gasket to put on this thing and uh, so I'm going to slap this on and uh, we'll go from there. Now I took my grease gun and I packed it full of grease. Before I did that I hooked up this piece of gas line to the um, to the oil line and I did suck on it and Clearly there was oil that was in it because it just leaked all over my driveway. But uh, all I got to do now is put the cap back on here and then hook up the starter and we'll see what happens. Well guys, I got it back together. It turns out that my starter clutch was screwed up. So I put a spare on there that's better. That's a rebuilt one with new bearings and stuff. The old one doesn't seem to be engaging so I think that it's just full of junk. So. I'm going to take out the jumper pack here and see if we can fire it up and see what happens. Alright, let's see. I got the jumper pack hooked up. And uh, I'm going to hit the starter and uh, we'll see what happens. Ah, stupid jumper pack. Doesn't have a good connection. choke on
You got nothing, guys. Nothing. What the heck's going on? I don't get it. Oh, maybe it was just starting to come up a little bit right at the end here, but what the heck, huh? All that work and nothing. It's kind of funny, but I forgot to tighten the starter clutch and it fell off as soon as the thing started running. So let's try that again. We'll put the starter clutch on with a wrench this time and uh, we'll see if we can't get it running the right way. There is still zero in the oil flow. Nothing's coming out of the front there. Nothing's going anywhere. So I really don't get it. But I'm sick of this piece of crap. The starter clutch fell off again. This is the fourth time. Every time I start it, it falls right off immediately the minute it starts. I really don't get it. <laughs> 